Hello my fellow Aura, this is your Aura Sly here and welcome back to the Aura Division, a wizardy community of lore keepers, artifact discoveries and dangerous curiosities. Hogwarts Legacy decided to drop a bomb this morning, the Overture to the Unwritten. The official Hogwarts Legacy Orchestra video that was dropped at CCXP in Brazil where we can hear the beautiful soundtrack of Hogwarts Legacy alongside with amazing screenshots and videos. The Hogwarts Legacy creators have decided to drop many many hands for us creators to find them, expose them, and unveil them to you. Well, and I'm here to say that there are many. So without further ado, Revelio. Now, the purpose of this video is not to actually go over the entire soundtrack recording. And I have posted the official Hogwarts Legacy soundtrack video on the description below. But in this video, I'm going to dissect this music video and try to find every single detail the devs have dropped for us. So the overture to the unwritten begins by us looking at the Hogwarts castle right behind the Great Hall. Here we can see the dominant stained glass from the Great Hall where we can spot the images from the four houses of Hogwarts from right to left, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, and Hufflepuff, as the roof is completely covered by a dusting of snow. And besides the seasonal climate, there is nothing here that truly popped my eyes. Now this specific image is definitely going to be my desktop background. We have a clear view from the Southlands of Hogwarts, and from the looks of it, it seems like we are behind the village of Hogsmeade. But one thing that I had noticed so far is how rapidly the terrain rises just east of the castle. But the sunset lighting, the clouds, just absolutely gorgeous. Here a beautiful shot of the clock tower's courtyard, the massive and circular grand staircase tower's interior. And here we can see a myriad of paintings and the animation of the stairs moving. Well that's very interesting, now we see two books fighting each other. That's kind of a cool addition in detail. The question is why? Wait, hold on. Was that a Morgana portrait? It's very convenient that that shot transitioned to the Merlin versus Morgana stained glass picture. Here we have a gold statue of sorts at the end of a hallway. I can't quite decide who this wizard was. But if you know, drop a comment down below. And a beautiful shot of the central hall where you can use to access the herbology section, the defense against the dark arts tower, the Transfiguration Courtyard, and the Library. And over to the right, we can see a statue in front of a door, and I believe that to be the entrance to the Divination Tower and Classroom. Why? Well, go watch my Hogwarts Locations video. We can also spot the beautiful shot of the unicorn fighting against the werewolf. Here we have the entrance to the village of Hogsmeade, again, same shot as before. But this one is really fun. Over on the right, we can see the fun store of Honeydukes, definitely gonna be spending a lot of time there. And here on the left, you see the statue of the Hogsmeade's founder, Hengist of Woodcroft. Now, a little caveat here is that Hengist of Woodcroft was actually thrown out from where he used to live, a Muggle village. Then he came over here to the Scottish Highlands near the school that he once attended to create the beautiful village of Hogsmeade, where he allowed wizards and other creatures of all sorts to come together to live a quiet life and enjoy a few drinks. Also, for those of you who don't know, Hangers of Woodcroft was sorted into House Hufflepuff. A cool little nugget there. Is it me or can you also spot the ancient magic symbol portrayed by this tree behind the statue of Hangers of Woodcroft? Another really cool detail that we can get from this scene are these Christmas decorations. Now, we know that seasons affect the surroundings, but are they really going to be decorating the village and Hogwarts based upon seasonal holidays? I mean, that's super cool. Now, this is a very intricate scene. As the scene transitions from the Reparo scene where Professor Fig repairs this bridge, it transitions to this broken glass or broken memory sort of atmosphere. Is this what it's going to look like when we start our pensive travels? And once again, we see the scene where Professor Fig and our avatar are accompanied by a few goblins as they go down the tracks of Gringotts Beck. 
What are they trying to access? Are they going to collect money or something? Now, what is this magic? It's almost as if bubbles are popping out of this thing. And again, is this a pensive shot? And here we have a most intriguing shot. We see the camera panning in to what looks like the same location from the Sebastian Salo's Dark Legacy trailer. Remember that dungeon where our Avatar meets Sebastian Salo and his Slithering friend? And for those of you who have watched my video, we know this is a burial chamber. Go check out the video in the description below. We see one of the flowing candles, the center focus piece, the burial altar as I call it, where this masked wizard approaches, and where Sebastian, our slithering friend, and our avatar are trying to find something, object or information. And in the shot we see what Chandler talked about, spells do affect our surroundings for sure. Goodbye wall, now what is this? We can see what looks to be the entirety of the Hogwarts grounds and castle completely lit up in this oversaturated and otherworldly image. We see bright dots scattered throughout the castle and throughout the grounds. Are those life forms? What are these lights representing? Some are faint, some are brighter. What do you think? And over in this image, we see this lonely tower located all the way up these mountains. This aerial view shows how big the map is actually going to be and two, what is this point of interest? Such structure being very far from Hogwarts seems a bit odd to me. Definitely belonged or belongs to someone, but who? And we can see a very bright light come from within this tower. Why? And as the camera pans out, we truly see the entirety of the grounds of Hogwarts. Look at the size of this map, my fellow Aurors. This is crazy. Look at the size of Hogwarts, and then look at all of the surroundings. <sighs> Blew my mind. And again, what are these bright dots? What we do know is that this map is located at the very floor of this chamber that we have named the Pensive Chamber. Located at the room where Professor Fig and our avatar can access these different portals, or pensive portals, I'm not quite sure. Is this going to be our headquarters? Perhaps we're gonna be able to blow up the region's map and be able to see quests or points of interest scattered throughout the land? This reminds me a lot of a war table, and we are fighting against goblins. It is a war, huh? Now, I believe this to be the same fortress that we saw from the Fall ASMR video. I even mentioned this to be the Rookwood's headquarters, or perhaps even the goblins. It definitely has some antagonist feel to it. And this shot is also extremely gorgeous as we see the entire castle of Hogwarts and the Owry as if we had climbed a tree in the Forbidden Forest. In the shot we see the Owry on the right side, the clock tower and the clock tower courtyard, the infirmary, the Gryffindor common room, and if you wanted a confirmation, here it is. As we zoom in, we can actually see the stained glass from the Gryffindor Common Room trailer. And I'm proud to say I was correct about this one. We see the Headmaster's Office Spires, we see the Grand Staircase Tower, part of the Ravenclaw Common Room, the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower, the Astronomy Tower, the Library Hall, part of the Transfiguration Courtyard, and the Bell Towers. Now this area looks to be extremely overgrown and forgotten, perhaps a ruin. I believe this statue represents that of Morgana Le Fay, and I'll tell you why I think that's the case in a future video. And again, more ruins, but what intrigues me the most about the shot is the lighting. The sun setting in the distance, the orange hues is absolutely warming, and it just pulls you into the game. And then the orchestra closes the scene with this beautiful wintry shot of the castle of Hogwarts and the grounds beyond. And besides the amazing detail of this image, the beautiful lighting of the moon, and the snowy details all over the grounds, we can see this area lit by perhaps torches or maybe braziers of sorts. What's going on there? The base area looks to be rounded and it almost reminds me of some sort of ritualistic area perhaps one of those Merlin puzzles. But that's the end of the concert video. 
Now a big shout out to the Seven Springs Symphony Orchestra and Choir for making this amazing soundtrack. The Overture to the Unwritten will forever live as one of my favorite soundtracks ever. The notes, the depth really touches your soul. And it is said that we're gonna be able to experience over 30 hours of this beautiful soundtrack in the game. Now if that's not something to be excited about, I don't know what is. The Overture to the Unwritten will forever live in my favorite playlist soundtrack. I have literally spent hours listening to this. Because as a music lover, I really do appreciate what they've done here. And again, if you have not watched this yet, go to my description and go take a look. Don't waste any more time. Also, if you like what you're seeing here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stupefy the bell notification button to alert the ministry you want more content. Also, I just want to give a shout out to the community. You guys have been wonderful. Thank you very much for the encouraging and kind comments you guys have been dropping. As a content creator, there's nothing better than getting a good feedback. So, thank you. And now it's time to make the next video. Surprise! My limited edition Magic Caster Wand has arrived. You wanna see what this is all about? Well, I'll be dropping a video about it soon. But until then, mischief managed.